And welcome back to the extra long run where we are playing Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Uh, last time we fought N and won. And then we fought N and didn't win. So let's fight N again and hopefully this time it'll go better. If it doesn't, I'm going to change my party makeup so that we can get burst in this. Wow, Noah just getting obliterated right off the bat anyway. As if you're not here at the main, at the, uh, the, the streaming session. Um, I accidentally went back into battle before starting the recording. Uh, did not engage and the first, the first person N attacked was Noah for literally all of his health and then some. Because I hadn't engaged, that was the end of the fight. Wow, this is not going well. Ow. That hurts, why? Down to the center. Which way are you facing? Alright, that's, that's the back. Well, I can do a back attack. Oh, and then you turn around. Great. Come on, chain attack. Damn it, Eno's down. There we go. Um. And then finish off with Eno, she is going to reactivate Senna. Can we get break? Nope. Now at least we got, like, if nothing else, we got a chain attack off this time. That's not nothing. Okay, so Senna would activate the Ouroboros order. I don't want to do that just yet. Uh... Uh, that was a front attack I should have done. Get some heals out. And Senna will give us a Bravo at the very least. Probably not anything more than that. There's gonna be two reactivations. If we're lucky, we can get Eno back. No we know, but that's a lot of TP. Do I want to use Eno Unlimited? Uh. But my two op my two main options right now is I could use Eno Unlimited and uh increase my damage percentage 
or I could just use Neo and guarantee that I get to do an Herbalist Order. Taking a risk! Oh, I think this risk might actually pay off. Because we get another Bravo. Uh, two actions, two reactivations. All comes down to who gets reactivated. Oh, we got Senna again. Okay, so valid moves for an Ouroboros Order are Senna and Neo. Both of them are here. And I'm just gonna use everyone for this, which will end me off with a with an, a pretty much a guaranteed amazing. Unless I somehow don't point limit with with Neo, which I she's gonna she's gonna get us yeah, she's gonna get us ninety nine. So I just need to get eight additional points with Senna. There it is. Eight points and then some. So that's gonna be three reactivations, but I'm more interested in the damage boost. The, the damage boost, I guess. 120 points! Look at that. Hmm. Let's start with you now. Do I risk it with lands? He might not hit. But then again, that's that's a ten point buffer we gotta work with. Ah uh, no. Not gonna risk it this time. Gonna play it safe. Do the two healers and finish with Senna. Look at that beautiful damage. 1501% damage. I don't know if it's ever been that high. I mean, we've definitely had higher total damage, but the percent damage was explosive right there. A little distance there. And has got some nasty AoE close up attacks. I think I'm actually too far. Great sword play. Which appears to be a clue. At the current rate, we're probably going to survive for another chain attack. I don't think that's going to be enough to take down him. Okay. 
go. Oh, let's start off with Eno Unlimited, absolutely. Um, I don't think that's either front or back, unfortunately. I think Noah's gonna get reactivated on that one. That was so close too to uh to Bravo right out of the gate. No, Tyon gets reactivated. 70 points. Um I'm good on health. I don't think I want Ty I I don't think I want uh Tyon immune for my for a Borosaur. Let's go with lands. How do I want to approach this? The very first thing I think I want to try to get aggro off of looks like Neo. Definitely Neo. I'm spending a lot of uh, of resources here. This is probably not going to be worth it. I'm trying to see if I can get at least a Bravo, if not an Amazing. Uh, that's not going to be an Amazing. That's definitely going to be a Bravo. So two reactivations. It's gotta come down to who gets reactivated. No tie on, but we did get to uh, Eno. Who? I fe I really feel like I should just use Senna. I don't think there's anything after amazing. I haven't seen like I think I've hit 250 one time and it was just amazing. Hmm. Taking a risk. Using everyone for this. Let's get a hit point limit. Finish off with Eno. She's going to reactivate the person with least TP with an additional 30. That's Bravo, two reactivations. Spectacular would be really good though. It really sounds like the thing that would that would come after amazing. Risk paid off. This is gonna be more than enough for uh for an Orboros order. Uh now is it gonna be Senna or is it gonna be Noah? I think it's going to be Noah. Start off with Lance, because he has little to no chance of exceeding. Gets damn near close though. And that takes us dead near close. Amazing. Unfortunately, not quite there, but we're gonna be able to get it for our, uh, for our boss order. As long as I don't do anything dumb. Look at that! Both of the healers reactivated. If if this had if this had not been in our boss order, that would have been the end of it. You know what, Tyrion? That is a good point. C B A S. 
I bet you there is a spectacular, and I bet you it's at 300%. I don't know how you get the 300%. But having a character at 95 and another one at 98 probably helps. Um, start off with Senna. And she is guaranteed not to exceed. Um, carry on with our healers. Because they're going to point limit. And it doesn't really matter if I finish off with Noah or Lands. That's a better shot. Side crit rate plus. Sounds good to me. That's still not going to be enough to take end down, but I think we're we're not in the clear. This, like console fights are never given. But, oh, two million. I, that's the first time you break two million. Like, th this is still not given, but... This is all down to survival at this point. Finish off with the Arbor Special. There we go. You done yet? To be with you forever. Those words back then were the truth. It's what she really wished for. Yes, that's right. I wasn't. I wasn't mistaken. When I tried to give her eternity, that was the correct choice. And you ruined it! Because you've changed! <gasps> you still don't understand. You were together so long. How can you not get it? She wanted you to go back, back to the name Noah. She wanted you to call her by the name Mio. Why? Why are you the ones who get to stand there together in this world, edge to bleeding edge filled with sorrow? Perhaps we just got lucky. Got lucky? Trace it to chance encounters. I've met so many people. Lance, Uni, Tyon, Senna, Riku, and Manana. My friends have been invaluable. And of course, I met Mio, too. There's a very small difference between you and me. If I had been in your shoes, I'm sure I would have chosen the same. You would, would you? Yeah, but not anymore. Mio and my friends, and not just them, but the other Mio and the other me. Every person I have met has shaped me and changed who I am. Thanks to them, I can choose the future. Even if you do succeed at returning the world to its original form, there's no guarantee you'll live long enough to enjoy it. What about that? 
You still intend to persist regardless? Yeah, we will. We'll fight our way out of these ten years. That's all. Ed, you were just like us once. An Uroboros, fighting for the future. But one day, you gave up on it. And made the choice to protect the now. But you know, that's okay too. To protect and to endure. There's shapes a wish can take. And I, I knew exactly what that meant. Mia. Won't you come with us? You could try to move forwards again. After so long, it's what you both wanted, right? Well then, easy choice. <laughs> What in the... He vanished. What exactly does this mean? Noah? Is he dead or what? No. He's fine. Fine in what sense? For now, let's do what we came for. dream a very very long dream in my dream youths were fighting and as many times as they fell they always got back up again a dream of young people simply trying to survive majesty noah correct I've been watching you all this time through the eyes of my simulacrum. Well done making it here. The Queen of Agnes is already free. Now you are too. And now, that leaves only him. You mean... Zed? Yes. About Zed. He is not a person, but a concept. Concept? Everyone can feel uncertain. Frightened. These feelings coagulated, and then given a human form, or Zed. Unlike those people who were granted a Mobius body, he is a true Mobius. Sounds ominous. So he's not even an individual? He is, and he isn't. There is some Mobius within you, too. But... Perhaps you've realized that. Your Ionios lies in frozen time. Born from the Mobius wish that chose the Endless Now. So then... Both us and the world... Everything that exists, it's all false. 
Everything that exists is reality. Present lives. And future ones. Mobius aside, the wills of countless people persist inside of Origin. The sword of the end you carry, and Ouroboros, they take their shape from these thoughts. Protect the now, or carve a path to the future, the wielder decides. The future is undeniable, but you must realize your own. I've seen what you've done. You can do this, too. Very well. There remains but one more thing I have to say to you. Noah. <sighs> Neo. <sighs> Lance, <gasps> Senna, Tyon, <gasps> Uni. <gasps> this world is yours. Further below this point lies the nucleus of origin. You will find Zed there. I shall return to the castle and free the soldiers from the flame clock's bondage. Otherwise, their lives will only feed Zed's power. Nice thinking, Your Majesty. Counting on you. Oh, uh, will you need an escort? I would think not. Might you have forgotten who I am? All right. This will be the last battle. We're all gonna make it through this. I promise. Yeah. This new world sounds like a blast. There's no way we can lose. We're strong now. Just look how far we've come together. The world is in our hands. Right. Let's grab it and hold tight. To another cutscene, yeah, we sure are. What a sight. The world's fighting together. If you told me I'd live to see it, I'd have never believed it. <laughs> the time has come for the city to mobilize. Kevin, Agnes, support them all. Gilgamesh, deploy! See, that, I feel like this is a case of, like, there's a big button that you need to use at a very specific time. And you know you can't press the big button unless that time comes. And finally the time comes and you get to press the button and it's so cool. Ultimately, defense. Only destroy weapons on the outer rim. Noah and the others are heading for the core. Leave the middle intact. Screw that up, and we can't restore the world, right? Roger, we'll cut. Now that's a different game. That's Space Quest.
Good to add more names. So yeah, uh, the Queen of Kevis, Melia Antiqua, uh, who is a high Antia from the first game, um, definitely is able to comport herself a lot more regally than uh, Mia, just for just for, for the fight, just for the fact that um, like she she basically is very has a very highborn attitude um like the moment you meet her in the first game i actually had to look up uh, a clip of like the first time you meet her because <laughs> it's been a while since i played the first one um whereas nia i remembered her instantly <laughs> In virtue of being literally a royal from the start, yeah, I'm pretty sure she was. That's for a good measure, I'm gonna save now. It's good to keep a record. Because there's a non-zero chance that pressing that button over there where the exclamation mark is, is going to be the lock-off point. Maybe not. Maybe there's a little bit left. Now we wait. Actually getting to meet both queens. Isn't this crazy, Mimi? Two trees. Just a few months ago. It didn't mean unimaginable. Especially since you were about to die. Just time out. Which she technically did. But she didn't because M took it for her. So, here's where I stand about this being a finisher bus stream. I don't think I need to specifically declare it as a finisher bus stream. One of, thing, one of two things is going to happen. I get to Zed, which is almost guaranteed to happen at this point, within the next 20 minutes. And either I'm strong enough to defeat him, or else I need to bulk up. If I need to bulk up, that's not something I'm gonna do on screen. And if I'm strong enough to, to, to just finish, then that's the game. So I don't think I need to threaten the use of two additional hours. Press stop. do with some food we probably could actually uh what shall i have experience boost last point boost enemy drop boost see none of these really increase um combat skill, so I guess I'll just take this. I'm feeling energized already. Huh. 
There we go. And one more level in. Brings everyone up to level 72. Stronger. Still find it hilarious that uh, just casually using a gun during sparring. Also, I guess it stands to reason that uh, Eno's eyes can be used as a flashlight. It's good to keep a record. Let's move out. Lots of floaty jerks around here. You're gonna, yeah, you're gonna fight us. Also, to in response to what you said before, Tyrion, we're literally going to fight the concept of fear of change. Yeah, basically. Uh, um. The endings to the Xenoblade games in general, I'm not gonna. Uh, like, it'd be spoilery to go into detail on this thing, but they get very metaphorical. Except for Cross, with just. Like, you have a lot of questions going into the end, and then you leave the ending with even more questions that are probably never gonna be answered. Radio Shack, you've got questions, so do we. <laughs> Not sure what this door does. That may have been a mistake, or it may just be an easy way to get back without using uh, fast travel. Oh dear. I feel like fighting literally the concept of fear is metaphorical at this point. I mean, I guess. I still find it interesting that they, they decided to take this game to tie the other two games together. In kind of a weird way that makes varying degrees of sense. I mean, I, I still like it. But just because I like it doesn't mean it makes sense and doesn't mean that I'm not going to, like, poke some fun.
Ah, uh, you're an elite. It's over here. Oh, okay. Over here. Oh, crap. Oh, that's not good. I was hoping to just drop a single one, but that ended up not happening. I, as, as far as plot twists go, I've seen much worse. For example, I have played through Zero Time Dilemma. <laughs> Which has one of the dumbest plot twists at the end that I've ever seen. Also, that guy is just kind of stuck there. <laughs> the whole Nana Games franchise suffers from being a series. You're not wrong. Let's go fight this one. I, I just hope that they don't end up just killing the end of whatever they end up calling the last game in the, uh, the Sonya and Files series. Because the first game was really good. Pretty much what I expected. I'd say we were moving in sync, right, Tile? Where are you going, Tyon? Oh, jeez. I see a huge doorway. Let's make our way to that for now. Yeah, that looks uh, important. Oh. oh, you're talking about that one. Gotcha. Yeah, that looks even more important. Well, at least this time we didn't draw another two regular mobs with you. We got a saw plus escape rooms make it really hard to fit multiple stories. I mean, when uh, when 999 came out, I don't think they were planning for a series, and but then Spike turns off was like, hey. People actually like this game, make more of it. Which is kind of a similar thing that, to what happened to the Katamari series. Where it's like, they, they put out Katamari Damacy, and that was the only game that the creator had planned. Except that they said, like, this is Smash Hit, we want another one. So he made another one. Like, all right, keep making these. People keep buying them. And then he said no. He's like, I didn't want to make the second one in the first place. You want to make more? Make them yourself. And they did.
Where's the front of you? Ah! Mmm, this is not going so well. Alright, everyone's interlinking. Let's do it too. this can I escape this without drawing anyone else yes ooh What would happen if I were if I were to try to go back here? Oh dear, that's a bunch of that's a bunch of uniques. I don't want to fight that. Or more specifically, I don't want to fight that now. Pull up Final Fantasy and make every game stand alone. This is this is the true statement. These are these are facts that uh, are maybe not facts, but well-informed opinions. Those two are, are gonna aggro, you know, just add to the mess. But this time, at least we're starting with the big one. So I think this is gonna go better than the last time. Ow! No! That both of you don't need to be resurrected. Let me disengage from uh, this mess over here. Mmm, this is getting messy. Neo, you might consider throwing some heals. Heals the SAP, please. Okay, it's perfectly fine. We survived. Looks like a pretty big door. Also, I guess I was wrong about running into Zed in the next 20 minutes because it's been 20 minutes at this point.
Also, I guess it absolutely wasn't necessary for me to open that big door. As long as it wasn't a mistake. Tyon, what the hell happened to you? I had turned around for a second and friggin' Tyon is almost dead. Also, I'm stuck. I'm actually going to need to sheave in order to jump and get properly into this fight. Which I never really understood. That. It's like, why can't you jump in battle? I think you can in cross. The the thing is, jumping in cross is on a shoulder button. Maybe you can't in cross because they like the shoulder buttons tend to get extensive use in uh, in this series. I honestly don't remember. It's been a while. I I've actually played through cross twice and I don't remember that detail. I'm guessing this elevator don't work. Nope. There's only one way to go, and that is down. Matter of what for, and is there any free buttons? I mean, being able to jump during combat is. It, it can have some tactical applications. Because you need to worry about facing in every single Xenoblade game. That's something I can open. Nope. It's probably something I can open eventually. Oh dear. Alright, let's see how it is to fight one of these big guys. You need did you tell me to quit being an idiot? You need gear? That's not very nice. Okay, so this guy doesn't seem quite as scary as I thought he would be. I mean, definitely hits hard. Definitely hits hard and you want to be careful about him. Also, he's doing that. And I probably don't want to be in front of that. That fight wasn't so bad, I just wouldn't want to be fighting anything else while I'm fighting the big guy. It's sort of like an FOE in Atreon Odyssey. Like you're, if you have to fight an FOE, you want to just be fighting the FOE and not something else too. Look at that big old door. Push the button. Is 
It's not the door that I thought I would open. Isn't there like a door behind us? Maybe not. Maybe that is the door that I was that I should have been expecting. Ooh, level 70 elite. That is not great. Dang, I was hoping for a camp here, but uh, there's a container and there's also a landmark. So if we die, we respawn here. And let's be real, death is definitely a possibility right now. Definitely helps when half of the uh, half of the party doesn't realize what's happening. That's less to have to worry about immediately. Are they just gonna walk off and not deal with this? That would be immensely helpful. Nope. Here they come. Well, here comes the elite at the very least. That one over there is still noping out of this fight. Sure, let's finish this off with the chain attack. Why not? Not gonna think too hard on this one. Overkill. So, thanks to the weird way that my brain works, um, I have basically put some thought into like if our six person party was to form a band and play this song, who would play which instrument? And what I've come up with is this. Noah plays violin, but he also plays the horn at the beginning of the song. Neo also plays violin, because it seems fitting that she would play the same instrument as Noah. Uh, Yuni plays keyboard. Uh, Lance plays rhythm guitar, because uh, I feel like he would prefer to like be able to thrash on it basically. Uh Lens and Senna. No one. 
That's my only Ouroboros order. And I only have the one option, but I think it's gonna be enough. Yep, single-handed. Um, so Uni plays keyboard, uh, Lens plays rhythm guitar, Tyon plays lead guitar, and Senna plays drums. And the backing orchestra is formed of uh, various heroes that uh, have shown up during the game. Let's see how high we can hit with uh, Tyon's 126. That 250 is still amazing, so I'm betting that if there is a spectacular, it's probably going to be um, it's probably going to be 300. Oh, 2.2 million. You know what? I should probably deal with you before I deal with those guys. By the way, abandoning the rest of your party, kind of not a great move. If I had taken a, a harder right there, I might have been able to avoid this fight. Oh jeez, both healers are down. Jeez, Noah. I'm holding down A. Oh, it's because I'm chained. Okay, now I should be able to, yeah. Let's get out of here. Now, let's see if I can corner this. Yeah, there, there we go, that works. Is this the cutoff point? Oh dear. No, this is another mini boss. Oh dear. What is this? Please to explain to me how the hell am I going to do this? How many am I fighting? Three at a time, apparently. Friggin' turned around just at the wrong time. Really? Quit turning around, you jerk. Oh, a bunch of extra attacks, though, and I'm not gonna argue about that. Yeah. 
Yikes. Oh, this is not going well. Okay, here come the next three. I might chain attack here once uh, everyone's back up just for the opportunity to like take a breath and cast some heals. Again, I'm not going to think too hard about these. The main thing is get the heals in. Make sure everyone is topped up and then I'll just stop the chain attack. Also, I don't like the fact that all three of them are on Neo right now. That's not good. Okay, everyone's topped up. Complete this order and then I'll, um, I'll cut it short. I could keep going for experience going this, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get a whole lot of experience off this guy to begin with. Let's this was entirely about here about healing. Coming out of three. Well, you know, the important thing is to keep it together. Focus one down. The faster one goes down. The faster we're dealing with fuel. There we go. But that wasn't insurmountable. But we're obviously getting close. Especially since there's another south. Well we are in the ringer here. I had accounted for this, but these numbers. I know. But it's the only way. Right. The call shouldn't be too far now. Come on! Oh good. Looks like we managed not to hit you. Monica. Great job there, Monica. <laughs> We've been trying to aim for the highest energy signatures. Score one for us. Good call. Um Is that supposed to be happening? Guessing so. You're 
not Later. going back. Hmm? Well, you know, I got curious and wanted to see the face of our real enemy with my own eyes. So, here I am. Imagine if they had a non conventional game over. I thought I'd drop by since the attacks wouldn't let up. And what do I see but you dead having a picnic? Gondor! The Queen? We got her out safely. It's just us and Zed. Our real enemy, finally. Right on. Then you won't mind a little company. What are you coming for? Wait, so... What for? Is well, this gonna be a party of nine? The head honcho's bigging it up in there. Ain't he? I got curious. Gotta see the big bad with my own eyes, right? <laughs> huh? You wanna clue me in on the joke? Sorry. Deja vu. Or something like that. Huh? Thank you. Thanks to you. Now I can say definitively, there are things in this world. We must protect. Okay, so this is not going to be a party of nine, but I imagine if I do this... No? They're not the guests? Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we can still cross this. The, this didn't completely break off. Whoa, got red dude all right here. Seven's already a lot, nine would be too much. I mean, I don't even know where they would put nine, uh, nine players on the left side. You just said that, but... Oh dear, we got two of them. Easy or not, they're definitely going to act, right? Eh? You look great. 
and tag this here just in case. Also, let's just draw these two jerks into this little corridor and give us a chance that the other two won't aggro. So what, what have we got for bonus experience? Two additional levels, we're up to 74. I definitely feel stronger. It's good to keep a record. Also, I'm pretty sure that um, bonus experience builds up for every hero so that uh, you can come back to a hero like you know 80 hours later cash in the bonus experience and they're back up to your level <sighs> there we go nice and clean I honestly don't know if uh, if clean clothes really has any sort of effect, but break time's over. If if nothing else, it's worth just seeing like the various um, configurations that the camping party can have. Both of them are defenders, good. Goodness knows that the um, probably two to three hundred hours that I'm going to amass in this game are mostly going to be me trying to max out everything. I'm probably not going to manage to max out everything, but it's going to grab my attention for long enough. Not that I really need to find an excuse to get my money's worth out of this game. I have more than gotten my money's worth already. Man, you need to stop dying. Big dudes. A lot of big dudes. As long as I only have to fight one at a time, it's fine.
Alright, let me just interrupt that big attack. I really wish I knew why I am not able to run in between this guy's hands. Yeah. And Kirby can do it. In fact, in some cases, Kirby is expected to do it. Both of our healers are down. Gonna stand right here behind you where you can't really do anything to hurt me. Other than maybe that uh, covering fire. There we go. It means there were no holes in my strategy. Whoa, got a great dude right here. But we avoided the elite at the very least. You know what? I'm going this way. Both of these ways seem like they're going in the same direction anyway. There's a unique. Naturally, if at any point I am forced to fight a unique, if I can at all, I'm going to try to switch to lands and switch lands to uh, Solaker. If only you didn't charge off on your own. It looks like I can just run around this jerk. Oh jeez. There is you though. Scurrying out of the woodwork. You've got some guts. Uraburos. X. You want that, right? Well, you can't have him. You still think you're calling the shots here? I'll prove you wrong. Once and for all. Alright, well I guess we got one more Mobius fight before we fight Zed. Level 70 against a party of level 74. This is... This is not gonna be easy. Especially considering... Look at that flame on Mobius X's health bar. She's going to aggro real fast. Yeah, that was like one-fifth of her health down she aggroed.
Mobius X3. Could be worse. We could we could be fighting like a very adorable version of uh, of one of these guys called the Moabius. That's an area. Oh, that still hit. Oh, just barely got everyone in that one. No ABS. <laughs> uh, that looks like a back attack to me. Not having a whole lot of luck trying to break lately. That's probably gonna reactivate Neo. Yep. Try to go lowest cost on this. Um, Tyon is only going to need to get three points, and he's definitely going to get that. Only problem is, everyone is really low. This is going to cost me everyone, isn't it? And I don't have Noah, so I have to continue this uh, this chain attack. Hmm. All right, let's just spend everyone, I guess. This might not be the best idea, but it's the best idea I can come up with. Let's maximize my points and maybe actually, maybe a uh, Bravo is going to be possible. She's real close. Yeah. Plus I'm finishing with uh, Eno, which means that someone's going to get reactivated with an additional 30 TP. Mobius X is now in uh, enrage mode. That is gonna be enough TP to finish this off. I'm not gonna be able to get another Bravo, but that's fine. So I need Noah or Senna, and I only have Noah. I think this is my best move. Oh, he's gonna single hand it. Alright. I was hoping to, uh, to get a bravo there, but um, single hand is fine too, I guess. It's not as much damage boost though. I could try to risk it with Tyon, but I know that's going to be soon. Uh, 
How's that? Uh, that's a front attack. We get to finish with an amazing at the very least. 1306 damage. Pretty good. It's gonna take Mobius down to half health. Or if not half, then damn close. It's about half. One and a half million damage. Only problem is now she's enraged and she just completely winged Noah. <laughs> I guess we're doing this. I think if we can survive long enough to get another chain attack, we're good. So it's gonna come down to another chain attack with. Hmm. Might need the entire party on that though. But no less than five. Oh jeez, X's aggro is just everywhere. Beautifully timed. That could not have been better timed. Ah, uh, is that back attack? I think it is. It's as close as I'm gonna get. Pretty sure that's a back attack. That's a real close to uh, Bravo to start, but not quite. We do get to start with Nino Unlimited though, so that's going to be a big, uh, big damage boost early on. Uh, tie on with 71 now. Let's get some heals in. Go like we did last time. Lowest cost. This is gonna guarantee us the order. Uh, yes. We need someone good to reactivate here. Noah's pretty good, but. Is gonna come down to the wire once again. Uh, lands means Senna. Senna's not there. Um, let's go in reverse order. Just gonna have to spend everyone here. Well, I guess I don't have to spend everyone. It's just. That will give me a chance, maybe, to get um, to get a Bravo. 
This is gonna be awful close. No one needs 11 more points. Can you get it? Just barely! One point buffer. Two reactivations, that's gotta be enough for an order. As long as I do Mio first. Uh, so I got Tyon, that means Uni, and I've got Lens, that means Senna. Only Uni is an option. Let's go with Uni. Now let's not do the dumb thing, because I've done the dumb thing plenty of times. I feel like I've got a lot a lot better of a hang of um, of chain attacks the more I go through the game though. I think that's gonna end pretty much like Mobius and we're not going to get X down with this order. But we're gonna get close enough. And we're also going to get five attacks on here, because I cannot see Senna exceeding here. And yet she did. Wow, okay. Well, that's still 1192 damage. I think part of the problem is when you're executing an Ouroboros order, you get a, you get a guaranteed 10 TP on every attack. I think if I was reading that correctly. Anyway, Mobius X is not down, but um, all I need to do now is survive and I got this. Finish this. There we go. Bye bye. Oh, no cutscene. He just goes away. All right. Okay, the day plan goes as follows. We kick Zed's ass and then a like brunch. But they're never gonna beat us. Whoa, got a rare dude all right here. And of course, by a light brunch, I mean Manana's in charge, and of course, she's going to make all of the food. Not to worry. Stick to the plan. Oh, this is an elite. Feeling that um, before we can fight Zed, we're going to run into well, is it Y? The one that the one that was at um, Colony Omega, the one who makes the thing.
Yeah, X, Y, and Z. Exactly. So I'm just thinking, like, it's either Y or it's like Q. Or have we seen Q? But we, we've seen so much of the alphabet at this point, I don't know who's been where. Oh, crap. Um, yeah, I'm gonna run. I suggest you guys do the same. I need you to not aggro. Thank you. Who? Now is that the only elite? How about you? You're not elite. So the correct path was right. Except that you Uni immediately gets Rafa sound. Definitely, that definitely smarts. Neo and Senna are both down. So is Eno. Oh, we can't turn this around anymore. We gotta run. Again. This is not going well. Unfortunately, I don't think I can actually sidestep these guys. Because of the way they're placed, it's basically Pokemon trainers at a gym. Uh, well, I guess we're not getting to Zed in the stream. <laughs> but, like, the fact is, even if is that is like right beyond that door behind us? Like beyond this room? Let's pretend that we get him down first try. Then there's going to be like an hour of cutscenes. Yeah, the fight itself is also going to last a good 30 minutes. I think the, the prudent thing to do at this point is save that for next week. And I realize it's going to be Christmas Eve. Uh, like the fact is, like, I do want to be done with the main story plus of this game before the end of the year. So, gotta do what you gotta do. This attempt is going a lot better. There we go. That's how you pull off a win. Yeah. See if we can keep this up. 
as opposed to the two consecutive losses we just did. Got curb stomped. Semi crisis trigger. Mini's down. And then he somehow bounces off of Noah twice. It worked because you carried the plan up to the letter. I'm still gonna keep going until I get somewhere significant. But we're gonna be ending ending this for today pretty soon. Hey buddy. He wants to team to feed Zed, Noah wakes up and runs to the window, <laughs> yells at a nearby kid. What day is it? Why is Christmas Day? Christmas. There's still time. Yeah, this isn't going too well. I was not expecting to have to fight both the big guy and the party. And there go both my healers. I'm getting out of here. It's quite frankly better to escape because if I wipe, then those guys are going to be backed up. Y'all are traveling together, huh? There we go. Maybe now we can deal with the big one by itself. Or at least put in a lot more damage before the rest of the party shows up. Yeah, this worked out. Worked out exactly how I wanted it to. It means there were no holes in my strategy. That my strategy. Not going so well. There you go, both healers. Sheave, sheave, run. Ah. Uh. That didn't go so well. Just plink this party away one by one. I'm the girl 
with the gall. I'll lure them in. Come on. That's a good whatever you are. Mobius construct? I don't know. And after that, I think we can take the uh, the last two at the same time. I don't want to spend too much time here because there is always a chance that things might start to respawn. I don't know how fast that happens. In this game. Down, but we are down to. There we go. Lands is down. It's still six against the one. I mean, kind. The odds are kind of in our favor. There we go. Yeah. See if we can keep this up. Anything over here? Well, it is a landmark, but I'm not gonna call I'm not gonna call that significant enough. I want like either a plot point or a rest spot. And if I end up fighting a boss, then I'll reconsider. But I don't know, that looks pretty significant to me. Same time. Let's make sure to uh, focus down the. Oh, I don't like that howling. That implies to me that uh, they may be able to summon. One now. Oh, both healers down. I might just hit that chain attack as soon as it comes up. Just to not have to worry about the rest of this fight. It's only going to be 5, but this is a regular enemy, not too worried about it. It's more about taking control of the situation before it really gets out of hand.
Yeah, let's just go whole hog on this guy. Why not? Let's finish out the order. Doesn't matter if I finish with another Boris order or not. I didn't think I was going to finish with an Arbor's order. The important thing is, we won. Is this going to be a cutscene? Oh, that is definitely why. That is definitely why over there, isn't it? I think this is that significant point that I was talking about. It's good to keep a record. Okay, well. Big stretch. Daily Chronicles 3. Alright. So, that is going to end the stream for today. So, thanks to Tearing for hanging out. Uh, the next one of these, like I said, is going to be next Saturday at 9 p.m. or uh, at 9 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. It is going to be finish or bust. Like, I'm calling it now, it is going to be finish or bust. Uh, and it will immediately be followed by the last day of Advent of Code. Um, which will also be on the stream. The next scheduled stream is going to be on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. It is the extra long run, uh, the regular long run stream. We're going to continue our run of Spyro, Ripto's Rage. Reignited, and we're probably going to finish that game as well. Uh, you might have noticed I didn't mention tomorrow. It's because I do have some plans for tomorrow. Unless there is inclement weather that prevents me from uh, keep from following through with those plans, I'm not going to be participating in the Super Shuffle. But there should still be someone participating in it, whether it's Mazzy or um, Madison or Zuzio. Probably someone is going to be streaming, so keep an eye out for them. All right, and of course on the other channel, Felicitas Neko, uh, Picarda.tv slash Felicitas Neko, Advent of Code is still going on. We're on the last week, and um, so far I've gotten at least one star every day, so let's keep going and see how far I can make it. So, that'll do it for today. Thank you all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.